Hi everyone, in this video we will use Microsoft Excel to create a horizontal stacked bar chart and learn how to display a total for each bar. There are two different options you can use to do this. The first option is pretty straightforward. Here's our data when we are going to look at book sales by the different book genres, how many digital sales and printed sales there were for each category. The first thing we want to do is add the total to our table with the formula and then select the data and insert a stacked row chart called a stacked bar in Excel. So I'll select the chart and then select the plus sign next to it and show the data labels. As you can see, Excel has taken a guess at how I want the data displayed, but these categories I would actually like to be displayed across on the bars. And so with the chart selected, I'll go up to the chart design ribbon and click on switch row and column. And now I have the digital printed in total displayed on the bars. I'll select the labels for the totals, right click on them and go to format data labels. This brings up a panel on the right hand side and I'm going to change the label position to be inside base. Then I will select just the bars for the total. On the right hand panel, click on fill in line and go to fill and select no fill. Let's also hide these grid lines. They're kind of in the way there. Now I'll select the legend by clicking on it once and then I'll click again just on this total label because we don't need that and I will press delete. You can see that we have this extra space here. That's because we still do have bars for the totals. We just can't see them and the axis is large enough to accommodate those. But what we can do is select the horizontal axis and if you have already deleted it or it's not showing for some reason, then you can go to this plus sign and click the arrow next to axes and then select primary horizontal. Now we can select the horizontal axis, right click on it and select format axis. And on the right hand panel under the axis options, make sure that the minimum is set to zero or whatever you want your minimum to be. And the maximum, I'm going to change from 400 to 200. And I think that will suffice. So this option is very quick and easy. However, it does have one disadvantage and that is that every time the data changes, you will have to most likely reset the axis maximum manually. So for example, if we have a lot of sales in our classical books department, then all of a sudden there's not enough room to display it all. And so I'll have to go back to the horizontal axis and make sure that it is large enough to show all of the data. I find this to be the easiest, most straightforward way to add totals to a horizontal row chart. However, if you do have to update your data weekly or even monthly, you may want to consider using a different option. And that is option two, which we will look at right now. I actually think that this option is a little bit more elegant, but it does take an extra step. And that extra step is to, first of all, we have our same, the same information as in option one. And the extra step is to insert a column right before the total column. And I'm going to call this display total and enter zeros for every row in the column. Now when we select our data, we will select the display total column instead of the total column. Now we will insert our chart and select the stacked bar chart. The initial steps will be the same as option one. So with the chart selected, I'll click on the plus sign and display the data labels. And then I also will go to the chart design ribbon and switch the rows and columns. So that we now have the bars in the right order where we have the digital printed and then the display total, which is displaying zero because it's coming from this column. Now we are going to let Excel know that we want to display not the zeros, but the totals. To do this, select the zeros, right click on these labels and go to format data labels. On the right hand panel, on the label options tab, you can see that it shows what the label contains and it's containing the value which comes from our data. 
select the very first option, which is value from cells. This way we can let Excel know exactly what values we want to display. So I'll check this box and then Excel asks for a range. So I'm just going to select the total range and then click OK. At this point we now have, it's kind of hard to tell, but like for the nonfiction we have 155 and 0. And here's our 155 for nonfiction and the 0. We want the 155 but not the 0, so I'm going to uncheck value and that will hide the 0. And then I will change the label position to be inside base. As we did in option 1, I'm going to select the legend and click on only display total and press delete. I say this is an elegant solution because the bar length is determined by our column of zeros and the bar labels we change to display the actual totals. The good thing about this option is that if the data changes, the chart will change automatically and we will not have to do any manual adjustments to the horizontal axis. So you can see right now the axis maximum is at 200. And if I change the number of digital copies of nonfiction that were sold to let's say 300, giving it a total of 354, you can see that the chart adjusted and also the axis adjusted automatically to have a maximum of 400. So I hope this was helpful. It's always good to know a couple different ways to come up with a solution. If you have any questions or ideas for other videos that you would like to see about working with data, please let me know in the comments.